Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Bonnie. I hope you are having a fabulous day. For today's video, we are trying some Shop Miss A makeup. I have seen this makeup on YouTube for the past few years. I finally decided to buy my own and try it out. All of this makeup was $2 or less and then some of these products we're also around the $3 range, so I wanted to try them out for you guys today. So I'm going to go in with this concealer. This is their liquid concealer in the shade Porcelain. So it comes in a little tube. I'm going to put this on my eyes. I'm going to use this as a primer and a concealer. And then next for eyeshadow, I got this quad. This is their Fairy Garden eyeshadow. So pretty. So first, I'm going to go in with this matte peachy shade. So I'm going to put that in my crease. Okay, that's really pretty. It's like a peachy beige tone. Very pigmented. Okay, and then next I'm going to go in with the other matte shade. This one doesn't have as much kick up as that peachy shade that I used. So I'm going to put that on the outer crease or the outer lid and then blend that a little bit into the crease it's pigmented but it's not too pigmented or messy in the pan which I like sometimes those darker shades can be a little intimidating because they they kick up a little bit and have fallout but I'm not really dealing with that okay now that I have those two shades on I'm gonna go in with this shimmery shade right here on my finger well, let's see what this looks like Okay, so it's coming off a little pink and purple. A little bit of a violet hue to it. And then I'm just gonna blend out the edge of that a little bit. So I think that's looking pretty good. And I also got their black gel liner pencil. I'm going to kind of warm that up on the back of my hand because it's a little dry. I'm not a huge fan of this, but we're just gonna get the job done. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush and smudge that out a little bit. Okay, that pencil is not my favorite, sorry. A little picky. I'm trying to take it off and Okay, you gotta scrub a little bit to get that off, but that pencil is a little dry than I would like, personally. Let's clean up any fallout that I have. For primer, I didn't get a face primer, so I just went in with my 
e.l.f. Sheer Putty Primer and I put that in my T-zone on my nose and around my nose. And I did get this primer spray. So I got a primer spray and a setting spray. So this primer spray is for pre-makeup application. It's paraben free, absorbs oil, minimizes pores. Oh, oh got it, okay. Okay, I wanna put this all over my face. A little aggressive it went up my nose <laughs> it just smells and feels like water okay and I have the AOA studio foundation and it comes in a glass bottle I think I got the shade fair ivory looks a little too yellow but we're just gonna we're gonna go for it okay so this comes in a dropper Oh, it smells, oh, and it's fragranced. It smells really good. I'm not a huge fan of fragranced products, but I didn't know this was fragranced, actually. Oh, that's yellow. <laughs> Alrighty, so I had to take that foundation off because it is way too yellow. I am not, mm -mm. No, 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 no. We have a backup plan. So I also got the BB cream. This is skin perfecting and color correcting. Okay, it's obviously not my shade. Gosh. Okay, I'm really hoping the powder that I got will lighten up this foundation because I look ridiculous. <laughs> I have the BB cream on and I have to admit it looks really nice like I look dewy it looks skin like it's the wrong color I'm very pale I tried to blend it down my neck but there's there's no way there's no way this is going to be a match I'm gonna go in with this perfect perfect setting powder Okay, I'm gonna go in with that powder. Pray to the makeup gods that this lightens up this foundation a little bit. Well, that lightened it up a little bit, but I'm just gonna zip this up. There we go. No one's ever going to know that this is not my shade, there out of sight out of mind okay so I also have their pressed powder finishing pressed powder in the shade porcelain and then next I'm gonna go in with the concealer and put a little bit in the inner corner blend that in with my brush so I can get in the inner corner here I'm gonna go in with a little more I'm not quite getting the coverage that I want so that's the concealer on so I feel like that gave medium coverage and then I'm gonna go in with that pressed powder on a brush and set that. I'm gonna go in with brows. So this is their slim brow pencil in medium brown. So it's a retractable pencil and you get a spoolie at the bottom. one brow it's a little dark than I would like but it's pretty good it's quite the difference there that is the brows done with the slim 
brow pencil. That did a really good job filling in my brows, especially if you have sparse brows. I think you would really, really like this. We have a winner. Awesome. I am going to finish the lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with that peachy shade that we used earlier and put that on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a pencil brush and go in with this darker shade here that on the outer edge okay and then I'm gonna use this lighter shade here in the corner for brow bone highlight so I'm gonna pop that on my upper brow bone and then I'm also gonna put some on my pinky and put that on the inner corner so for blush and contour, I got two palettes. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to put that on the tops of my cheekbones. It's a little pink. A little more pink than I would like. I'm going to go in with a little bit of each contour shade or bronzer. I'm going to put that in the hollow of my cheek. Put some on my forehead. And then I'm also going to put some on my nose. I think I'm going to go in with something a little more neutral. I'm going to go in with this middle shade. It has little hearts embossed in it. That's really pretty. So this one's a little more peachy. Cheeks all done. Very pigmented. I feel like I only had to dip into this maybe twice to get the pigmentation that I wanted. So I just did my mascara. I only did the top lashes. I kind of like the look of no mascara on the bottom lashes. It just looks so heavy on me if I do my mascara on the lower lashes. So went ahead and just skipped that. So next we're gonna go in with lips. I got the AOA Studio Velvet Lips in the shade Reese, matte pink shade. That kind of teardrop applicator. that is the lip color on it's very pink it's a lot more pink than I thought it was going to be that is the shade Reese very matte I feel like it's not drying down as much as I thought it was going to so I'm gonna go over it with gloss this is their diamond lip gloss in the shade Posh it's all that glitter in it I'm going to put this on top. Okay, this gloss doesn't really have much of a scent to it. We are going to set the face with our setting spray, Locks in Makeup Post Makeup Application, Lightweight, Matte Finish, and Long Lasting. Hopefully it's not as aggressive like the primer spray. Okay, that mister is better. This spray has a fragrance to it. It has that kind of powdery, 
smell. I'm gonna go over with my sponge a little bit. All right, you guys, so that completes the look. We had some hits and misses along the way, but we got through it. Um, so far, I think these are my favorite products out of everything I tried. So the concealer, I really like. It is, it's not creasing. I would prefer a little more coverage, but I think this is buildable. And the eyeshadow palette was really nice. It was very pigmented, easy to work with, blendable, and all the shades worked really well together. So yay on these two. And the powder, I really like both powders. I think they work really well. The shades worked nicely as well. And the blush palettes, everything blended nicely very pigmented now this shade is not exactly my favorite but i really liked the bronzers and the highlighter i do like that violet tone that it has to it i also really liked the brow pencil that was really nice i think if i got a different shade it would work a lot better because this is a little dark for me but application was great and it was less than two dollars so yeah save some money so i think the only dud we had was the gel liner pencil this was way too hard and dry and it didn't give me the pigment that i was looking for unfortunately i need something that's a little more creamy and buildable that I can smudge out and I wouldn't feel comfortable putting this in my waterline because I would end up just scratching that area and it would just get irritated. So that's a pass for me on this one. Sponge, I really liked the sponge, very soft and smooth. It was only a dollar fifty-five. Part of proceeds will go towards protecting animals against abuse. I love that. That's awesome. Yes. So much yes. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and trying some Shop Miss A makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. And I hope you will subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.